Hey everyone, it's that time of year again for when we make barm brack. Barm brack is a traditional Irish tea loaf which is normally made around Halloween. It's made from dried fruit and cold tea, but you can also make it with cider and this is what we're going to be using today. Okay folks, let's start baking. We're starting with the fruit. Pour the mixed fruit into a saucepan, add the light brown sugar, you can also use white sugar if you have that either, and pour in the cider. Give everything a good mix and pop it onto the stove and heat it up gently so that the sugar dissolves. When the fruit mix has fully cooled, pour it into a bowl. You can see the fruit has absorbed most of the liquid. Add the melted butter. I use either salted or unsalted depending on what I have in. Beat the two eggs and pour them in. Grate in the zest of an orange. This gives the brack a lovely flavour. Mix again until everything is well combined. The name barn brack means speckled bread, indicating that fruit was scarce in the loaf. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients. We're starting with the plain flour, baking powder, a pinch of salt, mixed spice and cinnamon. Now fold into the fruit mixture, making sure not to leave any lumps of flour. Irish barn brack comes with a ring in it, so if you fancy it, you can add one to the mixture. Just make sure to wrap it in parchment paper before adding it. That's it, all done. Now it's time to get this into a lined two pound loaf tin. Using a spoon, level the top. Time to get this into the oven and it needs about one hour in a preheated oven. When it's baked and still hot, we're going to brush it with a cider glaze. You can also use honey if you wish. This is just one tablespoon of cider mixed with two tablespoons of sugar and heated until the sugar is melted. Brush the glaze all over and look at the lovely shine it gives the brack. This needs to go back into the oven for three minutes so the glaze dries. Here we have it and it looks so good. Allow to cool before turning it out onto a wire rack to cool completely. When it's cool, you can cut it up. Wait till you see the inside when I cut it. Look at all that lovely fruit. On my channel, you'll find a barn brack recipe which I've made with cold black tea. I've even included a coin and a ring in that one as well. So if you fancy making that one too, why not try it out? Barn brack has to be served with butter, lots of butter and slither it all over. Yum. Hope you enjoyed this Irish barn brack tutorial. Why not give it a go this Halloween? And believe me, you're gonna love it. So I'd recommend you make two. Happy baking and enjoy.